Hey y'all, my name is William Frawley. I'm uh, down here with Campus Waterfowl in the uh, Ole Miss Rebel Chapter for Ducks Unlimited. And uh, we just wrapped up our weekend hunt down here and uh, Derek and I are fixing to leave and head back head back north to Memphis and go back to work in the morning. But before we leave, we wanted to show you all a little, bit, a little something here, a little behind the scenes action. Um, I'm gonna be running a hearing test and some ear impressions for the guys. And uh, just gonna kind of walk you through what we do uh, on a daily basis in terms of when, when customers come and see us in the, in the office down in Franklin, Tennessee. Um, and just kind of show you what we're doing with the custom shields and the, and the custom molded uh, process. Uh, and, the, and then when we do the hearing test, that's actually can be done on your own. All you need is a set of headphones or earbuds. It'll take you about five minutes and we're gonna walk you through how to do all of that. Uh, the ear impressions leave that to us and you know local audiologists and ENT, but the hearing test can absolutely be done. Um, on your own and so first up we got Davis I'm gonna run some ear impressions on him real quick and just gonna kind of walk you through what we're doing here so we'll step over here so what I'm doing now and we'll take this little pin light and just kind of poke around uh, sometimes you can see the light on the other end of the wall but it doesn't look like that's gonna be the case here just making sure there's no earwax buildup debris in the ear canal stuff like that that would hinder a good uh, ear impression so we'll go ahead and do that on this side as well all good there so I'm gonna take these little cotton balls I got right here. And all these are gonna do is just keep the impression material from going where it's not supposed to. Um, and so I'm gonna take this. It's gonna tickle a little bit, may feel a little bit of pressure. Um, if it gets uncomfortable at all, just let me know and we'll stop. All right. Uh, it shouldn't, but you know, it's, it happens sometimes. So we're gonna get that in there. Make sure we got a good seal around the ear canal. Let that string hang down a little bit. Repeat the process over here on the left side. Good seal. Okay, so now is the fun part. I'm gonna take this stuff right here. It's gonna look a little bit like bubble gum in his ear. I'm gonna fill him up and get all the way in the ear canal and hit every contour from the first turn in the ear canal all the way up here to the helix so that we can get a good fit with our custom shields. And so, Davis, it might be a little bit cold to begin with, and it's going to block you out from hearing anything. So, Camden, now's your chance to say things you always wanted to to his face, and he'll never know. So, okay. All right, that's a little weird. Yeah, it's, it's, a, little, it's a little different. <laughs> the best part is when it comes out, I promise. It feels, it feels oddly satisfying. Okay. Same deal on this side. All right, that's it. We're gonna let that sit there for about five or 10 minutes and let it set and harden up and really give us a good look at what it's gonna look like on the inside of his ear. And then I'm gonna take it back to the office with me uh, tomorrow and we're gonna start building it. About 10 to 15 days later, he's going to be ready to rock. So, so you stay put. I'm going to go over here and run a hearing test on Camden. And you just sit tight, okay? Alrighty. <laughs> All right, so now we got Camden up to bat. We're going to let uh, let Davis's ear impressions dry for a minute. We're going to run the hearing test on, on Camden here. And uh, we're going to walk you through how we're doing it again, just like we did the ear impressions. So it's on our website, touchyourhearing.com. When you get on the top page, on the on the opening page, there'll be a bunch of tabs up here. And one that says hearing test, that's the hearing test. So you click on that, there's a step where you put your email, your first name, and some of the pursuit preferences that you're going after, you know, like turkey hunting, waterfowl hunting, and stuff like that. And then it's gonna take you to this first page, which is the first step of the hearing test. And so what we're trying to do here is there's a sound file that you click that's gonna replicate the sound of you rubbing your hands in front of your face. What we're trying to do is match the volume of that sound file on the headphones to what it actually sounds like when you're rubbing your hands in front of your face. So go ahead and put the headphones on and we'll click that sound file and let you listen to it. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, is it done? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and take them off. So rub your hands in front of your face and let's see how, see how close the volume is. What do you think? Um, that needs to be a little bit louder. The, the computer needs to be louder. Okay, go ahead and put them back on.
right there. Okay, go ahead. Let's take it off and test it one more time just to make sure. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's mm -hmm. as close as you can get it. Is that, that good? Yep. Okay, so you're going to scroll down here, click next, and these are four frequency bands that we're targeting. And, the, and w when you go across, it goes higher in pitch. When you go down, it goes louder in volume. And so what we're trying to do is I'm going to go across these frequency bands. It's going to be on your right ear first. Okay. When you can barely hear the tone, raise your hand and let me know you can hear it. Okay? It. All right. And just for recommendations on the test, start towards the top and work your way down. And don't, you know, don't let your mind trick yourself like, I think I maybe hear it, you know. The tone should be soft when you move on to the next frequency band, but make sure that you're actually hearing the tone because a lot of times your brain, once you hear it a couple of times, your brain will try and trick you thinking you maybe. Will it be? Will the tone be the same sound, or will it be? It'll be the sound? same. It'll be the same, same sound. Same sound. Higher in pitch. Got it. Okay. All right. You ready? Yeah, so that's how you run through the hearing test. But uh, it's it's super, super easy. Um, again, that took us maybe six minutes to complete and we're all done. And uh, this hearing test will actually automatically get sent to us. Um, and so if you wanna take that hearing test, send it in and I'll let us, give it some time and let us reach out to you, um, either myself or Matt Daniels, the director of sales, will shoot you an email just kind of being like, hey, you know, telling you how, what your hearing's like and all that kind of stuff. And if you have any questions, um, or if you want to go ahead and take the hearing test and then place an order, as long as the emails that you use for the hearing test and placing your order match, they'll get linked to your file automatically. And so, and so the hearing test is used for any of our devices that have our 90 level technology and up. So the 90 level and the multi pursuit. Um, and so, but again, that was super, super easy. I hope this was super helpful for you guys and help you walk through it. Um, and so we'll go ahead and wrap that part up. So we gave it some time, let the impression material dry out. And so now they're ready to, to extract him from his ears. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull on the top part of his ear and then come back down here to the lobe. And all I'm doing is just breaking that impression material loose from his skin so that we can go ahead and take it out. And so a lot, this is a lot of people's favorite part is when it comes out. It's oddly satisfying, like I told you before. So go ahead and get most of that out. Turn it towards the nose. Voila. If you've ever wondered what the inside of somebody's ear looks like, that's what it looks like. That's his right ear. We're going to sit this down. Right there. Same deal on this ear. Pull it loose. Pull it loose. Pull it loose. Get the helix out. Give her a little twist. Bingo. There you go. So when I take these back to Nashville, they're going to start out looking a little something like that. And when it is all said and done, they are going to turn in to those. So these are going to be custom fit to Davis's ears and Davis's ears alone. I can't wear them. Derek can't wear them. Camden can't wear them. They're going to be specifically fit to his ears based off these impressions we just took. Um, the same technology that is in the custom fit stuff is in our universal fit devices. It's just a, just a custom fit. That's, a, that's really the only difference. There's a couple of other bells and whistles that go along with it. But... Um, 90% of the difference is the fit. So super easy process. Didn't take long at all. It didn't hurt. It didn't no. really pinches. Yeah. What did it feel like when it came out? Uh, pressure release. Pressure release. Pressure release and felt weird hearing for yeah. the first time in 10 minutes. <laughs> so pretty cool yeah. experience though, isn't it? Oh yeah. 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 Yep. Definitely yep. for custom hearing protection. Yep. So 
again, just kind of the cool stuff that we do on a daily basis at Tetra. Um, if you're interested in these custom fit devices, uh, all we need is a standard set of these ear impressions. You can either come to our office located in Franklin, Tennessee and get that done. Um, or if that's too far of a drive and you don't feel like coming in south of Nashville, then uh, all you have to do is go to a local audiologist or ENT and they have all the material and the know how to do that kind of stuff. So it's a super painless process. It takes about 20, 30 minutes. You leave the clinic with them and then you'll mail them to us and then we go from there. And so again, super easy, super painless. We try to make it as easy on the customer as possible. Appreciate you guys watching this video. Hope this helped. Um, if, you, if you have any more specific questions, feel free to reach out to myself or anybody that works in the office. Um, we've got an online chat that runs business hours throughout the week and it has our phone number that actually comes directly to my cell phone. And so feel free to give us a call and chat it up. So we appreciate it. Like, subscribe, and follow Campus Waterfowl for more cool stuff like this. We'll see ya. <laughs>